Hello friends, oh, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be showing you creative ways to use acrylic paint pens in your planner with Primrosia. I've been wanting to try their pens out for a while now, so I'm really excited to share these fun ideas I have for planning or journaling using these fine tip paint pens. I'll be going over the basic setup of these acrylic pens and then I will jump into my ideas for how to use them. Okay, let's get started. Here is the set of 30 acrylic paint pens that I got in the pastel colors from Primrosia. And I really love the packaging first off on these pens. I just thought it was really pretty and feminine. The paint pens come here with some extra tips you know, replacement tips in case you have any issues with your pens or use one pen more than others and you have a way to replace it, which is awesome. And it also includes directions for how to get started with the pens, that kind of thing. So I'm just showing you how the packaging looks. You can tell that it is a brand owned by women for women. It's not the standard generic acrylic pens that you get for artists that are just big and bulky and just not geared towards the creative planning craft. Really love that aspect of them. Also too, you can see the variety of colors that you get in the set and the different tones of similar colors like the different tones of blue and green and even in the neutral tones, uh, there's lots of options. For this set, I'm going to just grab one out to get us started and show you how you set up the pen. So what you want to do is really shake quite a bit to mix the paint. Uh, it makes a big difference, which you'll see a little bit later in the video, where I started using a pen that wasn't shooken quite enough, and I went back over it to show you the difference between the well shooken mixed paint and the not so well shaken. So do take that time to shake the pen thoroughly. Also too, to prep the pen to begin to draw out the ink, you need to push down on the tip and wait for the ink to flow into the tip from the pen. And once it does that, then you are all set to go. And you can see that the tip here is very fine, which is exactly what I was looking for. Most of the pens that you find online are really too thick. I believe this one is a 0.7 tip, which is awesome for writing and doing fine detail work in your planners. My first project that I'm gonna show you guys here is creating a vellum dashboard using these paint pens. I have this cardstock pack that I picked up from Michaels not too long ago and I went ahead and grabbed out a sheet of the cardstock already, plus a piece of vellum paper to layer with it. So I can show you how this would work. So in this instance, you wouldn't need any sort of printer or anything. You just grab some cardstock, some vellum paper, and these acrylic paint pens, and you're ready to go. So my idea for this is to actually draw florals on top of the vellum using these acrylic paint pens. I just love how this turns out. In the beginning, I started out, this is the pen where I really needed to get it started a little bit and then go back over the lines from the beginning because it wasn't quite loaded fully into the pen. But I'm just going to take that vellum and lay it over one of the cardstocks with some larger outline florals there in the pad and trace out one of the florals onto the vellum using the paint pens. One of the great things about this style of pen is that it's very opaque. So it's like printing foil on top of paper where you're not able to really see through the ink as you would with a water-based ink. That's really the benefit of it, the opaqueness, and it really allows you to get pretty creative with things and a layer as well. I'm just gonna quickly show you again how this would work. I'm showing you here with this cardstock that's already 
pre-printed and then just tracing it out, but you could literally trace anything from lettering to images online. You could hand draw if you are a really strong artist and illustrator. Really do anything you want to customize your vellum right there on the sheet and get a great impact overall. So as you can see, I needed to retrace out those first couple lines that weren't quite mixed as well. I showed you there how it turned out on top of the darker background. And I'll show you on some different dashboards I have in my stash just so you can see how the layering might look in different situations. But I love how this turned out and there's so many possibilities for making cool, unique dashboards for your planner using these pins. Okay, so my next idea is to use it for more of a memory keeping style on top of photos. Again, that opaque ink really comes in handy and you can see you can draw right on a photo and get a strong ink color pop through without any fuss. So it's a really awesome way to add that little extra touch to your memory keeping. Next, I'm just going to show you how you might use it on different types of washi tape. Here, I'm just going to show you on some basic black washi tape, how you might utilize it. Again, the opaque ink really stands out on any background, which is one awesome benefit of this acrylic ink. And next, I have a few ideas for how you can use these pens with stickers. So we'll go ahead and actually set up a little collage here of stickers with the photo I've laid down. One thing I want to note too is that you do want to wait for the ink to dry. The paint does take a minute to dry and on occasion I did end up picking up the ink a little bit because it didn't wait long enough. So just be mindful of that, that you'll need to take the time to let the ink dry but it's well worth it when you get the final result that is so bold and works perfectly in so many applications. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some florals here and then show you how you might use this in a couple of ways with stickers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually show you how to layer it behind clear stickers to make them stand out from a background. So here you can see how the sticker was completely lost in the dark background of the image. But by lightly coloring behind the sticker, you'll see the difference that it makes in order to allow the sticker to pop out from the background. And then that was just a simple example. And I'm gonna show you another example you can use with clear stickers or with paper stickers to add a little bit of embellishment to the sticker itself by drawing on top of it. So I know it's a little bit hard to see with the florals that I picked for this, but you can also write right on top of the sticker, outlining these florals to make them pop. Something you could easily do too with a quote or any type of sticker where you wanna add a bit of embellishment to that sticker. And finally, we're going to show you how you can use the opaque properties of the pen's ink to change the color of a sticker if you need to. So again, I'm just going to quickly set up a little bit of a collage here and then show you, say you didn't have the right color available to you, you needed a green sticker and you didn't have it, you could color over a, another color stickers box like I'm showing you here and change the color to the one you need. This works well too for stickers that maybe are in a certain color scheme, you know, even washi tapes, cardstock backgrounds that are in a color scheme that doesn't quite work with what you need it to, and it allows you to recolor them in a way that fits your color scheme. Very handy tool to have in your arsenal for that reason.
And my tip here is to show you how you can use these paint pens on cello sticky notes. Those are really popular in our planner community. And with this fine tip pen, you can easily write on them and get a nice opaque ink that lasts on the sticky notes. So I went ahead and just did the days of the week here on these transparent stickies. Just kind of showing you how that would look with a dark gray acrylic pen. And then I'm just gonna layer them here onto the sheet so you can see how that looks. I'm using my tweezers just because I wanna make sure that they have time to dry and I wanna smudge the ink. And then I have one more tip for you guys. Kind of goes along with the washi tape on the black, but basically these can be used on any dark background. So I have some black sticky notes there that I'm just using, but say you had a blackout spread or some other spread with some darker cardstock, you could easily take these pens and layer them over to create new textures like snow on a blue background the ideas are endless honestly so really handy and creative ways that you can use these pens for planning or journaling and there you have it you guys creative ways to use acrylic paint pens in your planner or journal thanks again to primrosia for sponsoring this video be sure to check them out over on amazon and save 10 percent on your order using the link below in the description and that's going to do it friends so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up down below also too go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of my videos thanks so much for watching i really really appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye